Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is a look at our proprietary ETF scans for the coming week. This is going to be for Monday, June 17th, 2013. Right now we've got a fairly negative session going on today with uh, definitely uh, being characterized by, uh, by fairly light volume. You can see that we've got uh, volume deviations to the downside here across the board in all, all of our major index following ETFs. We're about a half of a percent below the open in pretty much um, all of the uh, majors. The only exception is the MDY is a little bit uh, a little bit more paired off and that's on exceptionally low volume. Now, as far as the individual uh, domestic sectors go, we're again uh, down on volume pretty much across the board. There's definitely some pockets of weakness. Uh, the TAN is very weak. It's got a camouflage sell signal. And the KRE, the banks, are also very, very weak. That's 1.5% uh, uh, below the uh, below the open. And this one's on some fairly decent volume. One one place we're getting some uh, some signals is in the commodity sector. We've got camouflage sell signals in the USO and the DBC. And in the DBA we've got a downside CPS sell signal and that's on a volume bump. That one's up uh, you know more than 30% uh, above the typical typical run rate. The silver SLV uh, trading positively has an upside CPS condition, so definitely keep an eye on silver and also the uh, the uh, silver shares, like uh, silver wheat and whatnot, uh, early next week to see if that uh, that group wants to turn the corner. As far as the foreign stuff goes, uh, we've got one signal here that's a camouflage sell signal in the RSX. The emerging markets have been uh, have been fairly weak um, for the last few trading sessions, and today's no exception. The EEMs, uh, you know, down one and a half percent below the day's open, on on uh, some decent volume. FXI is also weak on volume. The EWZ is really the weakest of all of them. That one's specific to Brazil. That one's down more than two percent below the day's open, and almost one percent below the day's uh, VWAP. That's a volume weighted average price. As far as the specials go, we're not seeing any uh, any signals here. We do have uh, a volume bump in SKF. And that is trading uh, pretty strongly here, uh, one and a half percent above the day's open. The uh, FAS is about two percent below the day's open, and the banks and the brokers are both very, very weak. So keep an eye on the uh, FAS and the other associated ETFs for next week. All right, folks. Here's a look at our, uh, our individual uh, ETFs. The one thing I want to point out is that uh, as far as the the, the seeker aggressive countdown those these are the yellow numbers here look at the uh, we're, we're 12 days up in the spiders 12 days up in the diamonds the IWMs and the middies also so we're potentially only only one strong day away from uh, recording uh, the aggressive exhaustion uh, warning across the board here in the majors I think that's the real takeaway there's a couple other sectors that are getting pretty close to XLK is 12 days up on both sides uh, that's the Comer and the standard countdown for the seeker Got a couple of 12s also popping up in these individual sectors. The KRE in the aggressive mode is 12 days up. XLF and also the XLI all 12 days up, and uh, getting getting really really close to some potential uh, exhausting warnings. So definitely keep on keep on top of those for uh, for next week. Well, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite. Good trading to you.